Canva recently released a collection of brand new AI assisted features. They call it a magical new era. These game changing new upgrades will help you design smarter and faster. In this video, I'll show you 10 new Canva features that will help you design like a pro. So let's get straight into it. First up is what they call magic design. You upload an image and Canva will create a custom template for you. This will help you spend less time browsing for a template and more time perfecting it. You can review the templates here and you can also use the options at the top to change the style and the headline. Then just click on the template to edit it as normal. Next up, we have Magic Edit. Once you upload a photo, you can select it and click on Edit Photo. In the Tools section, you'll see the button for Magic Edit. Once you click on it, you can brush over any part of the image you want editing and then click continue to describe what you want generated. I'll type in red rose. It will then give you four potential images that you can choose from. If you don't like either of them, you can regenerate the image. Here's another example. I can turn this cake into kittens. These are AI generated images. So as you can see, this kitten has multiple paws and the head doesn't quite match the body, but you get the idea. It's definitely clever stuff. Number three, Magic Eraser. Another new feature they have released is this Magic Eraser. This works in a similar way to Magic Edit, except instead of changing the image, it removes it. So you just brush over what you want to erase and it will be gone. This works best with objects that are clearly distinguishable from the background. So here we have this shoe, you can easily get rid of it or any of these surfers. New feature number four is Beat Sync. Beat Sync allows you to automatically match your video footage with your soundtrack. This one is only available on a pro plan. As you can see, if you have clips or elements on your video timeline, then click Sync Now. It will match up the cuts to the beat. This is useful if you're making music videos. It might also be useful if you're making shorts or TikToks. Perhaps you could have text appear in time with the beat. You can of course go in and fine tune the cuts by clicking and dragging the sides of the clips. I've got another tutorial on the latest Canva video features coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Five, translate. Another super useful feature that Canva added is the ability to translate text in your designs. So if you select the text, then click translate, in the left hand sidebar, this menu will appear. You can then choose which language you want it to translate it to. You can apply it to one page or all the pages. And in the settings, you can choose to duplicate the page when translating and also reduce the font size. Feature six, magic write everywhere. Canva recently launched its own AI writing assistant called magic write. This is where you can generate text based on your prompts. This was previously only available in Canva Docs, but now they have rolled it out across all designs. So if I go back to the hand holding the rose, I can add AI text to this image. Just click on Canva Assistant on the bottom right hand side and then select Magic Write. I can then add a prompt, for example, write a poem about red roses and it will generate the text. You can also select any text and click on the Canva Assistant and you will see options to summarize the text, expand text, rewrite or edit with Magic Write. This is going to save a lot of time because it is easily accessible on all your designs. If you want to learn more about it, I recorded a detailed video on 10 ways to use Canva's Magic Write to grow your business. I outline lots of practical use cases in that video. Also, while you're there, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I upload lots of useful videos on content creation and the latest tools to help you grow your business. Moving on, feature seven is the AI image generator. So you probably know you can generate text using AI, but in Canva, you can also generate images. Again, this is available across all your designs using the text to image app in the left hand sidebar. You just enter a prompt and Canva will create up to four images for you using AI. At the bottom, you can also choose a style like filmic, 
dreamlike, photo, etc. Again, I've done a more detailed video on Canva's text to image tool, including tips on how to generate prompts, how to reverse engineer images to see the prompts used, and how to upscale the images. I try to put out some useful information for you. Feature eight, magic presentations. If you create presentations at work or in your business, then Canva's magic presentation feature will save you a lot of time. Using the same magic design engine, you just type in what your presentation is about and Canva will create it for you, including the text, the design layout and all the slides. So I could type marketing strategy for an Etsy store and it will generate the slides with genuinely useful information. You can change the template on the left hand side and if you click into it, you can add text using the Canva assistant I previously mentioned. Again, here are all the magic right features. Number nine, animations. This is a fun one and I'm looking forward to using it. You can now animate elements on the page. So you can make this bee fly from flower to flower. You just click and drag the element using your mouse and it will record the path. You can then change the movement style and the speed. Here is a football that you can make fly into the goal. And here is an example of multiple animated elements on the page. As you can see, the planets are moving all around the sun. You can edit each individual element by selecting the element, then clicking animate in the top menu. Then you'll see the option to create an animation. Once clicked, you get this menu where you can draw your animation path. I've done a plane flying across the screen to test it out and it seems to work quite well. The last new feature that Canva launched was an upgrade to the brand kit. They now have a brand hub to better organize all your assets. They already had logos, colors and fonts. They have now added photos, graphics and icons that you can access in all your designs. When you're in a design, you can click on brand hub and add these assets to your page. On the main brand hub section, you can also access brand templates, which are pre-made designs that you can apply over and over again, and also the brand controls. This is useful if you have a team of designers. There you go, 10 brand new Canva features worth checking out. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm working on lots of new content to help you grow your business, including more detailed videos about each of these features. I'll also be working on a new Canva video tutorial and I'll go into detail about how to use the layers. So if that interests you, feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out. Otherwise, have a good one.